Step 29, invite girls out on dates. There's this paradox, which is that if you show too little interest, the girl is not going to really know that you're interested in her. But if you show too much interest in the beginning, then she's going to get kind of turned off and creeped out and she's not going to want to see you. So you want to extend a casual invitation to hang out. And on the internet, you can find endless lists of great first date ideas. But what you actually want to do is extend an invitation that's very simple and not super exciting. Uh, because if a girl likes you enough that she might sleep with you, she is going to accept an invitation to hang out with you to do something simple. Sorry about this quick interruption. I've got an important call to action for you. Please go watch this video and subscribe to Limitless Mindset over on one of the alt tech platforms, Rumble or Odyssey. And that is where you can catch my latest videos along with browsing my entire library of content and videos and podcasts. Over 700 pieces of edifying content about biohacking, nootropics, smart drugs, anti-aging, life hacking, about my pragmatic full-spectrum anti-fragility philosophy. If you value health freedom, I urge you to get outside of your digital comfort zone just a little and vote for the kind of future you want with your attention. Join and use the pro free speech social media platforms. I have the links below this video to where you can connect with me on those platforms. I do pay more attention to the comments that I get on those. Please don't procrastinate any further in taking back your freedom and your privacy from big tech. Don't even pause this video. Just pick one of the alt tech platforms. I think that Odyssey is the best. It's kind it's a lot like YouTube. It's as good as YouTube as a video platform, but there's no annoying ads interrupting the videos. So just pick one of those. Again, I've got them linked below and join it in another tab or window while we get back to what you clicked on. The most common pretext to sex is just an invitation to get a drink together. Girls know this and they probably won't meet you for a drink if they are totally disinterested in sleeping with you. On your third or second date, you can invite a girl for dinner or to go do some social activity. But really, the first date should be a simple, informal chance to spend a little time and connect. So don't call it a date. Coffee dates are non-optimal for seduction. When you ask for her number, you might suggest a drink or a coffee, but really your objective is to meet her in the evening and imbibe a little of the social lubricant together. But coffee dates are not a total waste of time. If a coffee date is all that she can agree to, that's fine. You're probably going to need to go on multiple dates with a girl before she sleeps with you. Depending on the girl and your game and where you are in the world, it'll be between three to five dates. So if you go on a date and there's not crazy fireworks going on, but she's attentive and communicative and responsive and willing to see you again, that's great. Hello, 
Importantly, when you go on a first date, your objective, maybe the number one goal that you should have for yourself is to kiss them. And perhaps the best piece of advice on dating romance seduction that I have in my entire book is that you should try to kiss her at the earliest opportunity. Even if it's not quite the perfect romantic moment, even if your bodies aren't quite perfectly aligned towards each other, even if the setting is a little bit awkward, even if people are nearby, try to kiss her at the earliest opportunity. What this does is this ensures that you will never be damned to the friend zone. When you try to do this early on, on the first date or the first meaningful interaction, it makes it really clear why you're interested in her. It makes it really clear what kind of guy you are. I'll end this video with an important point. Not all men deserve sex, affection, or love in this life. Not all men deserve that most exquisitely intimate and wet of female embraces. You may not. That's up to you. If you're a virgin or you're failing with women, that is almost certainly because you are dramatically underestimating the amount of action that you need to take with the limited time you have. If an abundant and rowdy sex life that perhaps leads in the future to a beautiful relationship and marriage and children and a meaningful legacy that you'll leave behind if you want those things, if that is something that you're willing to fight for, there are three transformational resources that I'd like to hook you up with for free. The first is my full two-hour uninterrupted documentary, 33 Steps to Losing Your Virginity along with an article with an action plan to go along with it and this infographic. If you make a devoted effort to get through these steps, you will lose your virginity. The process I'm going to put you through may be the greatest thrill of your life and it will be fun. And you'll put all of this frustration, longing and shame behind you. The second resource is four chapters from my book for men entitled Don't Stick Your Dick in a Blender, How to Meet a Nice Girl Instead from a Tantric Husband with a Better Sex Life Than You. These four chapters are going to give you a bunch of practical things that I bet you haven't tried. And I'm going to drop on you a lot of wisdom and knowledge nuggets via storytelling. In these chapters, I've got some great stories that you're gonna get a real chuckle out of. So you'll get a direct download of those chapters in EPUB Mobi, so you can use a Kindle device or uh, your smartphone or tablet to read them along with audio chapters if you prefer to listen and learn. And the third transformational resource is Nine Steps to Becoming a Tantric Man. This is the first video module of my sex hacking course. It's a masterclass on reclaiming your sovereignty and recapturing your destiny with 
a little known set of tantric techniques for cultivating and yielding your sexual energy to build the meaningful life of abundance, joy, and carnal ecstasy you desire. If you're a virgin or sexually inexperienced, this 90-minute deep dive is going to give you some tantric exercises to get started with, which are going to dramatically increase your sexual confidence so that you can actually make some progress with the kinds of women you want. And at the end of the module, I'm going to send you on a solo mission to an odd place that's probably not that far away from you. And you're going to emerge from this solo mission on fire with inspiration and motivation. You are going to be galvanized to go after what you really want in life. So jump on my newsletter for men about all things personal development, seduction, sex hacking through the link below this video and you'll get immediate access to those three resources and a few other things. I'm Jonathan Roseland with Limitless Mindset. Looking forward to a continued conversation with you. And if you're not quite ready to dive into those transformational resources, if you want to do yet more passive information consumption, watch this video next.